on Prime Amazon today, you have a new film starring Kirti Suresh, Penguin. A film that is uh, released in multi languages or it is a multilingual film. It is released, I am told, in Telugu, Tamil, Malayalam, and Hindi. I I am extremely disappointed first with the manner in which uh, Ishwar Kartik relays the story which is supposed to be a thriller. You uh, wonder sometimes whether it is a whodunit and very soon you realize that the whodunit converts itself into a why done it and you just ask yourself why ever or whoever did it. The problem with the film is that their director obviously bites more than he can chew and whenever you bite more than what you can chew, what is left with is a cud. So, you are left cud chewing and that is the problem with this 2 hour plus film, Penguin. Film starts off with a lot of promise. You have an expectant mother in Rhythm, that is her name, Kirti Suresh. The movie also moves front and back, front and back without cause. Every time the screen tells you four years ago, six years ago, and then comes back to the present. In the present, you have a pregnant mother whose uh, baby bump is all too visible and uh, obviously visible as if it is a statement in itself. And you go back into a past or into a nightmare alternately where you see that she dreams of her son, young little boy Ajay played as the kid played by Advait who goes missing from school. Now, the narrative is so badly put together that you sometimes do not know whether she is talking in the past or she is talking in the present and you need to keep focusing and not eat your popcorn to find out where the script is moving. She is married to Raghu played by Linga and the initial scenes are when they go to the funeral of one of their friends Banu played by Nitya Kripa, more about Nitya Kripa later. Then you notice that they are a group of friends Banu, you have another friend Harini played Abhi and Kirti Suresh as Rhythm. When uh, Banu's father passes away, Rhythm and her husband Raghu go to the family and over there you notice that their child is missing. So, you think the story is taken off, it is a false alarm, the child is found in a few minutes. There are a few scenes that do not stand to explanation like the husband getting angry with her saying you are not fit to take care of your child. There is absolutely no character built around Linga who plays Raghu. There is absolutely no reason for his anger, there is absolutely no, no flesh to his character. He just comes, mouths a dialogue and moves on. Later you realize that uh, the child actually goes missing and actually goes missing in spite of having a lovely Labrador dog Cyrus all the time with him and Cyrus the dog plays a very important role in the film as a Labrador. The filmmaker has made has done his homework, he knows what kind of a dog he needs for this kind of a script, he uses him very well. The child disappears then you realize that the city a very very scenic hill station is where the film happens. 
you realize that children go missing, there's another child, and then there are about six children that have gone missing. Characters come into the story, there are these two lady friends, and then after some time you realize, after the disappearance of the child, the couple part, and soon Rhythm marries Gautam, who's her second husband, and you suspect that the whole theory of a matrimonial discord and getting in a second husband and the way the camera lingers very predictably on him sometimes, on the first husband sometimes, is just to give you cop, give you this idea, are they the suspects, are they the people who could have kidnapped the little child in a who done it part of the story. After you come to know who's done it, it suddenly shifts into a why done it story and that is where the film really loses its way and I suspect the filmmaker loses the plot. It gets to be very loud, what promises to be almost a film uh, like a nice who done it that you would expect from Malayalam cinema, peters into one of those loud, crude, violent, needless scenes of gaudy violence thrown into the cinema. At the end of it, the film leaves a bad taste. I don't think uh, the editor, Anil Krish, has really known his job. He needed to chop off quite a bit of the movie if he wanted to make a tight, good, well done, who done it. The cinematographer, Karthik Falani, uses the scenario very picturesque, very relevantly to the story. But over that, I don't think the editing in the film is great. I don't think the music in the film is anything to talk home about. I think the director, as I said earlier, takes on more than he can handle. After all this, you don't have to even bite your fingernails because somewhere down the line, if you are somebody who's seen cinema, you know where to look for the clues. And if you look at them, you'll slowly begin to believe, oh, it could be this, this, and he, he. So, not much to talk about in Penguin, except that Kirti Suresh, I, from a very personal angle, believe far more impressive in this film than in the national award-winning film, Mahanati. So there is promise in Kirti Suresh, very steady performance. She's sturdy, she reacts well, she's within the framework, she's what, she is doing what the director is doing, she's not going outside of the script. She's controlled within the script, but within it, she leaves an impact and she alone is an impact maker in Penguin. This is not a Penguin that's worth all the talk about. But if you are somebody who likes to see a film where there's a nice performance, then go for it because Kirti Suresh ensures that for you. See you. Bye-bye.